You can't back out of now. No, I'm, I'm sorry, girls, but it takes a certain kind of man to carry off playing a woman. And I'm no offence, David. I am no Danny LaRue. We're not asking you to play the lady now, Lord Dolly. It's just to kill that boy. Yeah, exactly. Look at them East German women runners. Chinners like Willow Pads, half of them. If they can win Olympic gold, fooling the Weatherfield Bowling Association will be a doddle. What about fooling Alvira? She finds out I've never hit the last. This is all on an internal basis. No, she already knows I'm up to something. She told me this morning I kept her awake all night, tossing and flaming, turning. No, my little puffadder, she knows why I've got a guilty conscience. She can't be that bad. Bad? Bad? She makes the Gestapo look like St. Winifred's flaming school choir. Stop worrying, Jack. Just make sure you're at the factory by lunchtime. Why? Oh, you can have a dress. You've got to have a fit in. <laughs> I've put the material aside. It's a lovely cerise pink. Oh, it'll go a treat with Jack's eyes. I'm so much sure that we should be doing this without Mr. Baldwin's say so. Well, he hasn't said no, has he? Well, that's because we have nasty. Oh, well, fair enough. Now's your chance. Oh, you three, let's do the apple bubble toilet trouble. Get back on them machines, eh? Cut. Right, listen up, troops. I'm going to meet a buyer in town, but that is no excuse for workers' playtime. Got that fuzz, especially not with Bolshie swinging the lead again. And I'll be checking output when I get back, so any slacking, and I'll find out about it. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Baldwin? Yes, Mr. Baldwin. Lovely. Well, cuts away, I suppose. <laughs> what are you three up to? Ange, ask no questions. You'll hear no lies. <laughs> I tell you, Alvira's got the ears of a bat and the nose of a bloodhound. Hey, she don't go to bed at night, she hangs upside down in a kennel. No, oh, will you listen to him, miser him? Hey, Jack, you should be used to wearing a dress. It's obvious you don't wear the trousers at home. <laughs> You're right, Jack. These flaming knickers are like an instrument of medieval torture. They're not knickers, Jack, it's a G string. A cheese wire, more like. Slicing up my backside like a trouble of Wednesday ale. <laughs> Can I not wear boxers? Uh, and have VPL? I don't think so. <laughs> Chill out, Jack. Some men find wearing women's underwear very liberating. If I get caught short, I won't be able to liberate now in this ghetto. Here you go, Jack. Finishing touches. I got it for an Abbey night in town. <laughs> Can't wear that. I look ridiculous. Oh, go on. Reckon it might suit you. Might make you look like Vera. Well, if I do, I might as well give up now. I won't fool anybody. Right. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. All right, Jack. Now, remember, it's all about belief. Look female, think female, be female. Look female, think female, be female. What's wrong? Do you think you need a uh, bigger... Uh... I'll say one thing for you, Jack. At least you're thinking female. <laughs> Look, do we really need makeup? Yeah, we need to see the full effect. Your voice is all wrong, Jack. It sounds like a waste disposal unit. You need to pitch it higher. Let me tell you, the knickers you gave me, my voice is as high as it's going to go. Oh, come on, try. Repeat after me. Hello, my name is... What is the name? Oh, put that out, Jack. You can't smoke in here. Oh, come on, all just lit up. Well, you'll have to hide it if Mr. Baldwin comes in. Oh, come on, where can I hide a fag in this outfit? That's it. What? A name. Hide a fag. It's perfect. <laughs> right, repeat after me. Hello, my name is Hide a fag. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hello, hello. My name's Hyde Fred. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Well, she won't shatter any glass, but it's not bad. Oh, hello. What are you oh. doing? No, no, it's essential, Jack. There's not many women smell a brute hot pot and rough shag. Oh, well, you've not sucked in the booze as I have, love. <laughs> Here, have a look at yourself. I've been out with worse. <laughs> now, the question is, Jack, can you move like a woman? It's all about weight distribution and balance. So you've got to take tiny little steps as if you're gliding. I 
got it. Now, put this on and try not to let it fall off. Do I have to? Yes. Yeah. Remember Some Like It Hot, Jack Lemon. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Oh. Oh. Looks more like John Wayne to me. <clears throat> oh. Are you three going to do any work today or what? And who is that? Is she smoking? Uh, this is Haley's sister. I don't care if it's Whistler's mother. Get her out of her house. You know the rules. We've had one fire already. Hey, come on, sling you up. That stuff have you that makes shining smell nicer. Beer told me the name of it. It's... Excuse me, love. You don't know what our stuff is, do you, that makes your shining smell like uh, Alpine Valleys or something? No. So what, are you taking laundry in the garage now, Tyrone? No. I was just finishing off my lunch and Vera Corn and made her come and get some of this stuff. Reckons Frankie insists on it. Yeah, well, she's out of luck. Tell her to try and tell. Oh, well, she's going to be pleased, isn't she? Need any help, Martin? No, I'm fine. So what you said earlier about the ring, did you mean it, that you didn't care? Of course. All I want is you, Dad. Though that's not to say a ring wouldn't be nice. It's traditional. So history and tradition are important to you? Well, I've never really thought about it. But I suppose so, yeah? yeah. Well, maybe I am an old-fashioned girl when it comes down to it. Do you fancy a brew? Yeah. Myra Stev, yeah, I know you probably don't want to talk to me, but there's something we need to talk out, so can you call me, please? Hey, Jack. Hi, hi. Any little with GGs? No, I've kept my money in my pocket today, so... Oh, well, it's the first time for everything. Oh, look at this lot. I've still got to do. Oh, because of that daft pole. Women's perfume. I thought you were up to no good. Uh, I'm off down to the pub. Yes, I'm coming. Hey, uh, you stay where you are, Jack Duckworth. Oh, God, it's all over you. You cheating swine. You smell like Elsie Tanner on VE Day. Right, Vera, let me explain to you. Let me explain now. See, I, I come back from the cafe, didn't I? And I thought to myself, I'll have a shave, I thought. You see, but the hot water steamed up my glasses. Now, instead of me getting my aftershave, I got your scent, didn't I? Really? <laughs> Well, how come it smells nothing like my scent? Well, no, of course it won't. No, of course it won't now. Now, you see, on realising my mistake, I got my aftershave, didn't I, and, and to, co to cover it up, and that was a smell you could smell, which is why I never went down to the bookies. All right, all right. But I'm warning you. If you get up to your old tricks, you'll regret it. What are you doing? You, you, you've not finished. Look, I'm too tired to do any more tonight. I'll take these, what I've done, down to Frankie's. I don't want her thinking I'm slacking. No, no, no. You, you come and get your feet up. I'll take these down. You are up to summer, aren't you? Can a man not help his wife? You can't. 